Hello guys, in this video, I'll show you how to set up MSI Afterburner on your PC so you can benchmark your games. You'll be able to monitor key stats like GPU, CPU temperatures, frame rates, and more, all in real time. This is one of the most powerful and free tools for monitoring your PC's performance while gaming. MSI Afterburner is completely free to download and use. All right guys, let's dive into setting up MSI Afterburner. First, open up your browser and head to Google. In the search bar, type MSI Afterburner and make sure you click on the link that takes you to the official MSI website. To make things easier, I've also dropped the direct link in the description below. Once you're on the page, you'll see two options, a final version and a beta version. For this tutorial, we're going with the latest final version, 4.6.5 at the time of recording. Just click that download afterburner button to get started. Once the download is complete, you'll notice the file is in a compressed format. So before we do anything else, we need to extract the contents. Once it's extracted, open up the new folder and double click the setup file to begin the installation. Now, you'll see two components listed, MSI Afterburner and Norton 360 for gamers. We don't need Norton, so go ahead and uncheck that box. Then, click Install to continue. Next up, choose your language. I'm selecting English here. You'll then land on the MSI Afterburner welcome screen. Click Next. Now accept the license agreement and click Next. On the next screen, make sure Reva Tuna statistics server is checked. This tool is super important for displaying those real-time stats like FPS, CPU usage, and temps on your screen. I'll show you exactly how it works once we've got everything installed. Click Next to proceed. By default, Afterburner will install to your C drive, and that works just fine for most users. Now, just follow the on-screen prompts to complete the installation process. And that's it. MSI Afterburner is now ready to use. After installation, open the MSI Afterburner application. Now that we're inside MSI Afterburner, you will see application interface like this. It will show you your current GPU states, GPU megahertz, GPU memory, voltage and temperature. We will not change anything here. Keep the default setting like it is. Just click on the settings icon. It looks like a little gear. Once you're in the settings menu, head over to the monitoring tab. This is where the magic happens. Under active hardware monitoring graphs, you'll see a long list of stats you can choose to display on your screen while you game. Now, you can customize this however you want, but I'll show you the key stats that I personally think are most important. You can select GPU usage, GPU temperature, CPU usage, CPU temperature, RAM usage, and of course, your frame rate, FPS. Let's start with GPU temperature. Simply click on it to highlight it, and then in the bottom GPU temperature graph property, check the box that says show in on-screen display. Once you do that, you'll see InOSD appear next to GPU one temperature. That means it's now set to show on-screen while you play. Next, do the same for GPU usage. Select it and enable show in on-screen display. Then also select memory usage and enable show in on-screen display. Next, this is optional. If you want to show core clock, you highlight this too. It will show on screen. Now let's scroll down and find CPU temperature. Be careful here. You want the one that just says CPU temperature, not the individual CPU cores. Those will be labeled something like CPU one temperature, CPU two, etc. Select it and turn on the OSD display for that as well. Do the same thing for CPU usage. Again, make sure you pick the main CPU usage stat, not one of the numbered ones. And in case you're wondering, those numbered CPU stats represent each individual core. So if you have six or 12 cores, you could track each one separately. But personally, I prefer just seeing the overall usage and temperature. It keeps the on-screen overlay clean and simple. All right, scroll all the way down to find RAM usage and check show in OSD. And finally, make sure you enable frame rate. That's your FPS counter. Once you've selected all the stats you want to track and they're labeled with InOSD, scroll down and click Apply, then OK to save everything. That's it. 
you're all set. You'll now be able to see those real-time stats while you game. Now let's open up Reva Tuner, go to the Windows search bar, type Reva Tuner, and it should pop right up. Simply click on it. Once it's open, you might not see it immediately. To find it, head down to the bottom right corner of your desktop. Click the Show Hidden Icons arrow and look for the Reva Tuner icon. It looks like a little monitor. Click on it to open the settings window. This is what it's looked like. Reva Tuner lets you customize how your on-screen display looks. Everything we set up earlier in MSI Afterburner, like GPU temps, CPU usage, and FPS, can be styled right here. For example, under on-screen display palette, you can choose the color your stats appear in. I recommend picking a bright, high contrast color, something like dark blue, so it stands out clearly no matter what game you're playing. Once you've picked a color, just hit OK. Want to make the OSD easier to read? You can adjust the size of the display using the on-screen display zoom slider. Just drag it up and you'll see the text get larger. Once you're happy with the look, you can close Reva Tuner. It'll keep running in the background. All right, now let's launch a game to see everything in action. I'm playing Forza Horizon 5, and as you can see in the top left corner, the on-screen display is working perfectly. It's showing my GPU temperature and usage, CPU temperature and usage, RAM usage, and my frame rate, all in real time while I play. If you found this video helpful, make sure to smash that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. It really helps the channel and lets me know you're enjoying this kind of content. Drop a comment below if you have any questions, need help with your setup, or even just want to share your experience. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.